Back to the 1900s, okay? So the electron is discovered by J.J. Thompson. Rutherford discovers the nucleus of the atom, and now we're running into some serious problems, okay? Once the nucleus is discovered, now we know that the nucleus is this tiny thing of positive charge with electrons moving around it. We already know the electron is there. And now, according to classical electromagnetism, if a charged particle moves inside of an atom where the electron is moving like this, it should also be re releasing light. And if it releases light, it should it should decrease in energy. Yes. And then it should fall into the atom, yes. to the nucleus. And so there should be no atoms. Right. Okay. So but, clearly, but obviously, clearly that clearly that's okay. There clearly are atoms. There are atoms. Okay. So so what do we do? That doesn't work. Yeah. Um. At this point, um. Rutherford is like. Rutherford's an experimentalist. He's like, look, I gave you the nucleus. Yeah. I don't know. You go theorize. <laughs> yeah. So at the, and at that point, like theoretical physics is still at its nascent day. People aren't really respecting it. The real guys are the experimentalists, right? Because they're like dealing with truth. Mm -hmm. The theorists the are basically fancy mathematicians. Yeah. Right, right. Exactly. Right. Um. And so along comes Niels Bohr. Niels Bohr joins as a postdoc in Rutherford's lab. And Rutherford's like, all right, I'm going to hire you. You're going to tell me what, what the hell is going on, yeah. right? This is your job now, yeah. <laughs> okay? And Bohr's like, bro, I got okay. this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you how every single atom works. Tries, he spectacularly fails, okay? <laughs> he has no idea what he's doing. And then he's like, okay, I'm just going to focus on the hydrogen atom, all right? Single proton, single electron. Because the other ones, there's a bunch of electrons. The electrons are pushing against each other. They're also, ex like, getting the nucleus. So he's like, all right, single proton, single... Um, and... and Single proton, single electron, hydrogen atom. Can I solve the hydrogen atom? 